Welcome to Board Game Bananas. My name's Eli, and today we're going to be playing Crisscross. Banana! So I'm going to set it up first. So you have these little sticky nodes that you take off. They're like, peel off. And you have the pencil. It's like tic-tac-toe, basically, except different shapes. And that's it. So you roll them. You choose which shape you want to put into one of these squares. Is it right there, that top corner? Right here in this top corner. And whenever you roll it, you have to put these on your board. And you're trying to get um, as many shapes as possible next to each other. So you would have to get Two lines would be two points, three lines would be three points, four lines would be eight points, five would be ten, and oh, if you get none together, that would be negative five. So just to clarify, you're going to be putting the different shapes in these squares, and then you're going to be totaling up the different shapes on the line, and the total goes here at the end. And also, you're going to be totaling it this way so that the total goes at the bottom. And also, if you want an extra special duper, super duper hard level, you can score them diagonally as well. As Eli said, you can do, if you get two in a row, so two X's, for example, in this row would be two points. Two X's in this column would be two points. Three is three points. Four in a row is eight points, and five is ten. We have found that actually the most important part of this, and tell me if I'm correct, is to make sure that you don't have any empty rows because this negative five is worth way more than just one pair in a row, which you only get two points for. Is that correct? correct? Yes, that's very correct. So, quick question. Do we get the dice castle whenever we buy the game? No have to buy it separately yes. all right so how about we do a match and we show people how you play yeah. we're not the game we're gonna have to choose what we want to put in this top left corner and we have to pick one of these shapes so you can pick circle or X's. diagonal or number sign so Eli has chosen to put an X now the first thing we do is everybody picks one of those there are six different shapes and this is something you can play with one up to six players but if you have more players, technically you can, but you might have copies. And so up to six is a recommended number, but you can play more if you absolutely want to. So let's go ahead and get a start on. Okay, I got a line and a triangle. So I'm gonna put my, oh, triangle right here. And they have to be sideways or below right so they have to be touching but they cannot be a diagonal so let's let everybody see so you can put them next to each other right here or you can put them on top of each other but they have to be touching whenever you're putting them down all right so as eli pointed out he messed up just a little bit and he accidentally cut off his access over here that's a mistake you want to make sure that you don't make because it gave him one less turn but then once you have done all this, you figure out the total across. We have one, two, three in a row. So that is going to be three points. You have one, two, three in a row. That is going to be three points. We have one, two, one, two. So that's going to be two plus two, four points. We have none in a row here. That's okay. That's negative five. And then we have none in a row here. So that is negative five. Now let's go down this way. So we have one, two in a row. That's going to be two. We have two in a row. That's going to be two. We don't have any in a row here. So that's going to be negative five. We have two in a row here. That is going to be two. And two in a row here. So that's going to be two. So you total up this way. And then you total up this way. And then, no, we're not going to do diagonal. Oh. So that's six. To, oh, you want to do diagonal? We can go ahead and do diagonal. Two. Yep, that works. So we got one, two. So two in a row, so we were gonna add two here and two here if you're doing the extra hard way. So we got five, eight, 12, minus five is seven, minus five is two for this total. And then we got two, four, six, minus five is one, plus two, plus two is five. 
So 5 plus 2 is a total number of 7. So what did you think of this game? I like the strategy and you don't know what's coming, so you have to make sure you don't make these type of mistakes that I did. Yeah, but that's okay. You've definitely had better games. I think you were under a little pressure because the camera was on. But that's okay. You still showed people how to play and you did an excellent job. Great job. So this is a really fun game in my opinion if you're going to travel because it takes five minutes. If you're stopping off at a gas station and you want to play a quick game with you know, the kids or with your, with your significant other, then you can go ahead and pull this game out. Or if you're camping and you want a quick five minute filler, then this is a really fun game. And it's definitely going to be one that we keep in our collection, you think? Yes. All right. Until next time. My name's Eli. And I'm Dad. We'll see you next video. Like and subscribe.